Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, I would like to tell. I would like to present to you the second two phases of um, uh, of a DMVPN. As you know, we have done it the first phase uh, dynamically and statically. Even though we have tested uh, dynamically uh, as an OSPF routing protocol, but we have not covered uh, RIP and EIGRP. But we will uh, cover in phase two and phase three uh, now so today or tonight this morning actually it's just one o'clock for me or uh, one o'clock it is 33 minutes past one o'clock for me in my side at london united kingdom uh zero one in the morning zero one thirty three in the morning and okay uh, if I leave the the hour and the time and the late time that I'm just recording this video uh, right there, uh, today we're gonna to not, this morning. Yep, it's a, kind of like today. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be talking about DMVPN phases. DMVPN phases. So phase one, we have seen phase one so far, statically and dynamically. That one we've done it, and today we're gonna look. Uh, the, uh, phase two and phase three, and the differentiation between the two phases. Okay. As I said in here, uh, each phase is a little bit different than the other, but not much. That means, like in a co configuration wise, they are not different uh, in a configuration wise, but in a function wise, they are different. And. Uh, it's not that big deal but it is a big deal when we talk about the routing and uh, routing protocol and uh, what we call like performance you know and their performance because we want everything to perform the way as is expected and also the most and we want to everything or every network device to perform the highest optimization that we want to design so in design wise yes there is a difference but in configuration wise no there is no big difference that's what i want you to know in the first place in a design wise and a fair performance wise yes there is a huge difference in the phases or like phase one phase two and phase three of dmvpn or dynamic multipoint uh virtual private network but in a configuration wise there is not that much and we will see step by step okay here i said like this uh, this phase which is a phase two static i mean we have configured phase one static before but phase two uh static configuration is going to be the same and i will just show you but we will not be uh putting on on the routers and we uh, jack it because in phase one the way you see the phase one behaviors and the static wise uh the the phase two is will behave so it's kind of like obsolete anyway phase one and phase two they they, they consider as obsolete so or obsolete that means like it's something that is not used anymore you can configure on your router is but there is no really an advantage in a performance wise that's why we say in a performance wise we use only phase three but in a config uh, in um in a in a DMVPN wise, I mean they are all uh, available, their configuration I'm using, but the per best performance wise, uh, we use uh, uh, phase three, phase three, and we will see how it works. Okay, we said in phase two is static, the configuration is the same. Configuration uh, at the hub, hub configuration remains the same, uh, in configuration wise. Okay. But the spoke is have to be configured as a dynamic multipoint by using tunnel mode uh, multipoint, and we will see that. I will just show you. Okay, therefore tunnel destination is not needed anymore because one is we use tunnel uh, tunnel mode GRE, tunnel mode GRE right here. We don't need a tunnel destination. Okay, uh, at uh, a phase two static wise. Okay. And the and dynamic wise, we always use a GRE multipoint. By static wise, uh, we use uh, uh, I mean static wise, we use in phase one a destination a tunnel destination. But in phase two, static, we do not use 
uh, phase one, uh, we do not use um, uh, a tunnel destination anymore. We use most uh, all the time tunnel mode is focused on the, um, on the hub. You got that one. Okay. Tunnel destination is not needed anymore because we're using a dynamic multi point right here. But we are using, uh, before we were using a point to point. GRE point to point GRE in this book is because when we are using a point to point GRE or by default in GRE we didn't modify that's why we need a uh, that's why we needed destination tunnel destination okay that's what it was okay uh, and multi point at the hub yeah uh, I mean we're still talking about the uh, static wise we were using a multi multi point uh, uh, at the hub but we did not know but we used it uh, the, the, the dynamic uh, we're still talking about phase one okay we using a uh, we were using a, a tunnel destination but tunnel mode now is a gre multi-point and that is all is focused and all uh, and the hub configuration will be destination uh, uh mode gre in phase two and phase three okay Okay, and multi point. Okay, we are using point to point in GRE in his focus and multi point in the hub. Uh, okay, that, that was the one before. That is why we did not need the hub to be configured at tunnel destination. That means that we're still working, talking about the uh, phase one uh, uh, static. Okay, the configuration, and, this, and now same thing is true with the spokes. The spokes now, and there is no tunnel destination in phase two we will use tunnel mode gre as the hub because we are in phase two and phase two requires this okay okay uh, all other configuration in phase one is static and phase two is static is the same okay here is phase two and phase two is uh, and phase two oh yeah oh yeah and phase two is static is the same so i will show you in a notepad but we will not be configuring because there is no use of it you just need to see it because if you want to really uh, configure phase two is static you will just follow uh, the steps of um, phase one that i did it but the only difference being is just tunnel mode gre okay because in this box always the hub has a gre multi-point but then it's focused they have uh, in phase one the tunnel destination uh but in in phase two we don't need tunnel destination but we will use gre multi-point as the hub but all the other configurations as the phase one and phase two is static phase one is static and phase two is static is the same i think you get that po that position okay that is that's it okay let us go now and check it in the uh, dynamic uh phase two dynamic yeah because before we were talking about uh, uh, phase two is static, you know. So we d we talk about the phase two dynamic. Okay, dynamic. The hub is always the same configuration. Has the same configuration. It's supposed to be configured as a dynamic multi point, and IB NGS hub NGS command. This IB NGS uh, command, we, when we are in phase two is static, we don't need it because it is not. Uh, th that is a static configuration but this one is a is the one which makes the registration request they spoke will send a request res uh, as a resolution request to the hub using this one using ib negative hub ib negative hub nhs that means like negative hub server yeah and uh, th th that is the difference in in this book in the phase two and that's all the difference between the three phases at least and the configuration was that means like this command is the one between phase two and phase uh, phase two is static and the phase phase two is static and the phase um, phase two um, dynamic this the, the, uh, phase two is static and the phase two dynamic because the when it is static uh, they don't need to they map it that they map it statically you know in phase two they map it statically but this also they don't need this command as i guess i guess i guess this one that i said i guess i guess i guess that means like 
is the IP address of the next hub server command. So that what I'm what I'm just like I just want to here emphasize a little bit this command is responsible the hub and they spoke to send the uh, next hub server registration request using next hub server address and asking a resolution request this command is responsible and that's the, all the difference between the faces in the configuration wise okay in the routing protocols support of routing protocols bmvpn support dynamic routing protocols uh hub is either configured ip nhrb multicast or uh um, or or the spoke to, okay multicast where x is the spoke tunnel ip address or simply use ip nhrb multicast dynamic that means like you can use this command because i already put the uh, uh what's here or you can use this one but normally they use this one because this one if you use this one you need to multicast any all of the spokes ip address you have to map multicast statically but if you use this one it's a dynamic so you just want to only want this command and this command is a popular because they do have the same functionality yeah this command and this command they've got the same functionality but more configuration because you have to say like router 2 like 10.0.0.2 you know you have to use this one multiple times but in, while in this one you use only one time and uh, uh, have replicate, replicate the multicast as a unicast to the all to all is is connected to the hub okay so th this command does it replicates all the uh, dynamic information or all the multicast information as a unicast to each hub because they yeah that, that's what they do and they do the same functionality this side this one and this one but this one is more popular on the hub device in phase one dynamic in phase one dynamic only hub is configured on this command is that's true but in phase two is spoke is a configured ib nh ib so in phase one is static you didn't need ib map multicast you did not need in phase one is static or phase one dynamic phase one is static and phase one, phase one dynamic you didn't need this command because but you needed this one in a in a, in the hub but this one you did not need in this box because it's always point to point and then that's why we needed a, a GRE tunnel destination all right okay so only hub is configured on this command is but phase two spokes are configured with this one with this command nib nhrb multicast every spoke you have we have to configure this is for compulsory okay where i guess is the hub ip address okay that's a supporting of routing protocols okay EIGRB over DMVPN. Okay, the routing protocol is, for example, let us take in EIGRB and let us see the dynamic. Uh, I mean, the difference and uh, uh, what we will use. So dynamic, we need to turn this billet horizon off. So that means, like, if we want to use EIGRB on the over DMVPN, we need to turn this billet horizon off, and we always uh, disable uh, auto summary, and we know that. Okay, in phase two. That was a phase one. That was a phase one, yeah? We are near to turn turn all the split horizon off. In phase two, same thing. We have to we have to split uh, we have to turn the split horizon off. We, we need to turn the split horizon off and at the same thing time we always this one is just a normal process. We always disable no auto summary, we always issue that. But the second we the second uh, command that we don't need in uh, phase one uh, EIGRB we uh, uh and we need to configure i mean this command right here no ip next hop cell of ehrb we do not need in phase one uh dynamic but we need in phase two we need in phase two uh dynamic this is so that means like ehrb will not keep uh the the, the reservation of the next hop uh i mean the uh, the hub will not keep the next hub 
the, the, the negative hub information so this command will solve it for us and split horizon what it does if the EIJRB if, uh, I mean uh, update is coming from the main interface uh, I mean um, by default EIJRB will not send an update in that uh, interface that it got the update that it got the update to that neighbor that because it is uh, uh, because of the I mean uh, that's the default uh, behavior so now when we say like uh, it's a no IP EIJRB is split or uh, no IP is split horizon EIJRB then uh, it will turn off that and we can use that the, I mean we can send it back the update to that interface that we've received okay so we said like to overcome I just explained a little bit little bit here in English I said to overcome that I mean I'm just talking about the same thing okay I said that to overcome three spokes that always use as, as a, a, the hub as a negative hub yeah because in phase two we have uh, phase two and phase three uh, uh, phase two and phase three unlike phase one the the phase two and phase three is focused uh, form dynamically virtual private uh, virtual uh, tunnel at the first installation uh, this all the just information is not that big deal okay uh, OSBF and uh, uh, DMVPN on uh, DMVPN over OSBF in phase one dynamic we need to use IB OSBF network from point to multi point that, that's the network tab on the hub on the hub and on these books IB OSBF network point to multi point in phase two we use IB OSBF broadcast type networks in phase uh, okay and, and this command is for all the spokes and the hub as well and the phase one is for is for all uh, uh, we we need to configure this command as well the hub and the uh, spokes as well okay if we are using okay that is, don't worry about it dmvpn phase two phase phase one phase two and phase three differences okay phase one is a point multi-point summarization is uh, I mean so if I just go back a little bit here we are talking about the differences here yeah, uh, between phase one phase two and phase three of DMVPN so we said phase one is a point to multi-point and summarization you can do summarization but phase two has a limitation it does not allow summarization uh, because the hub preserves reachability information so that the spoke must have the spoke is must have a full routing table so that reachability is maintained okay so phase two the next hub remains unchanged phase two initial packet transfers it through and uh, all the spoke through through uh through the hub as the spoke is all point to, to the hub and the hub is the only unique source of NHRP information for all spokes. But this case, same thing. Phase three uh, is, uh, is true as well because when I checked it, phase three uh, always they go, they have to go in uh, in the hub. They have to go in the hub in a first packet, but the second packet they will have a, a data plane uh, directly to the spokes. Okay 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 phase three advantage phase three it just it has a advantage because it allows the summarization uh, and it uses these two commands you know the phase one phase two dynamic and phase three dynamic they are um, uh, exactly the configuration is the same but uh, with these two command is different with these two command is different this command is IB NHRB redirecting for the hub and IB NHRB shortcut for the for the uh, for the uh, for the spokes so this one what it does it just tells the hub that when hub when, when you send the information from a spoke to a spoke the hub will tell look do, do not use me but use there is another direct uh, the, the use uh, there is another um, there is another path which is more optimal than me so don't use me just you need to 
have a good co you, the you need to have a direct directly co I mean directly uh, database um, uh, you need to form a database what they call you need to form I mean this NHRB redirect it tell the ha I mean the, this this is only for the hub okay this command is only for the hub and uh, it's only for the hub okay and this command is only for the spooks okay this one is for the hub this one is for this book so what this one does IB NHRB redirect it tells the spokes to use directly uh, they have to send it across the message directly using their um, forwarding table and IB NHRB shortcut tells the spokes when when they receive this message from the from the from the because for example let us say let let me back up and just say something I mean a uh, little bit explain when uh, when this message is sent to the spokes this command says okay it overrides the routing table and the DTM and, and the forwarding table and says look uh, just uh, 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 just uh, you know we have to talk directly instead of sending our uh, uh, our, uh, our information to the hub and in the control control plane wise and uh, the hub will, will will maintain the adjacency but in a data plane wise or VIP wise uh, they will they will use um, the the shortage path which is uh, the NHRB resolution and NHRB shortcut over overwrite. That's what it is. In short, okay. All these are just they're talking about that one. Okay. In phase three, uh, okay. In phase three, we need NHRB redirecting on the hub, as I said, and uh, and uh, IB NHRB shortcut in these books. Okay. But in this book, yeah, that's the configuration. But EIJRB because we need uh, in phase two, no uh, IB negative hub cell of EIJRB and then the autonomous system number in phase two. But in phase three, we don't need it, so we will remove IB uh, uh, no IB negative hub cell. We will remove, but we will leave it. But what we will leave, we will leave uh, the visibility horizon off. And that is that is all that's about it so what we will do so that's what it is okay let me go back and check it uh the MVBN notice okay so if we look the configuration here phase 2 is static yeah as I was telling you uh, the tunnel interface of the hub is here and the IP address and the hub should have the map in the static the the, the, the difference between static and the dynamic is the static they have to uh, statically map the NHRB. Uh, the the hub has to uh, statically map. So you see, IB NHRB map, and then uh, R2 and R3. Okay. Uh, I mean, in this case, in spokes, they have to map as well with each one. All right. So that is the map. Okay. Uh, but there is nothing different. But in phase two. You remember uh, in phase one we needed a uh, tunnel destination, but now we have a tunnel source in a uh, phase two static, but we do not have a tunnel destination. We have tunnel mode GR in multi point instead, and uh, that's what I was talking about before. And the spokes they've got the uh, uh, like same uh, identical information because the they have to map directly each other, and they have a tunnel source and they have a tunnel. Uh, they don't have tunnel destination. They have tunnel mode GRE, a uh, multipoint like the hub. There's no tunnel destination anymore. Okay, that's what it is. But uh, phase two dynamic. Uh, okay, phase two dynamic. We have here phase two dynamic. So if we. Okay, let me explain. This one is the tunnel zero that we built. This is the IP address of the hub. Uh, this is an optional command, but it's very good to, to use it. Uh, that's the MTU. 
and the reason why because if the MTU is always uh, 1500 uh, or 1500 bytes but GRE has a, a, a big header or, or, or like a, uh, you know they have a, like at least a 24 bytes header so if you short uh, to 1400 then it, there will be a space for the bucket to, uh, to, to, uh, to I mean for the, for the headers and mainly it will stop us the fragmentation I think in the last video of DMVPN phase 1 I said it's static I said I think it's defragmentation no I, I meant fragmentation so this command prevents fragmentation by lowering the MTU size and there is another good command here it's a IBTCB adjust what this command does it adjusts any uh, TCP uh, information uh, the, uh, any TCB header it will adjust it to I mean if the TCB header is uh, is big and when you co when we confirm when we configure this command under the tunnel interface then it will lower to this uh, bytes or uh, if the if the TCB header is less than 1360 then it will leave it like that but if it is the same it will leave it like this as well it will leave it like this as well if it is bigger than 1360 then it will lower i mean it will make it this 13 because we already gave them the estimation okay that that, that is the configuration wise of the uh, i mean these are optional commands okay they are very good to use it and most of the people they use it but to work uh, 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 to to configure dmvpn this is the tunnel interface, uh, the phase two, okay, the phase two dynamic we said, because we talking about the static. And this is a uh, IP energy RB authentication. That means the password is just a word I put it password, yeah. But IP energy RB authentication is very good, but it's uh, optional. It's not uh, required, there, so the DMVBM will work. Uh, IP energy RB map multicast because we are on the hub, so we need it to support uh, to replicate the multicast information because when we are using a, a, a routing protocol we need this one most of the time unless we we are using a static if you are using a static we don't need it but now we are using a, 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 a routing protocol is because they are dynamic here so we need this command uh, this one IB energy RB uh, now on network ID we need this command to work okay and this all other and tunnel source because the tunnel to be up we need the tunnel source and I mean sorry the tunnel to be mapped with the tunnel the tunnel and the, and the real NBMA we need this the tunnel source and the tunnel does a GRE mode to tunnel so the tunnel to be to be up uh, we need a tunnel GRE multiboard and if you are using OSBF we always using a broadcast type okay and it is very good idea to make this one DR, the hub DR, because now we, we are on the hub side. To make the hub as a DR. Uh, and, and, and because now we said IP OSPF priority uh, 100. And also, we make it less, uh, we make it IP OSPF priority 0 to the spooks, as, as we will see. And then router ID is, is very good. So, if you are using OSPF and the phase 2 dynamic, we always using a broadcast okay we are we are we are always using a broadcast but if we are using as i said in phase three there is nothing in change we need ip energy one one more command here as i said ip energy rb redirect on the hub and we will change this one uh ip OSPF network type we will change it now it's a broadcast but we will change it that time uh, point to multi point as the phase one as we did in phase one point to multi point okay and the how and the spokes we are we have a, a this command is an optional as we said but it's very good uh, authentication and we have to use map because we always have to map the tunnel interface to the actual NBMA so we can we can we know where to send the information an energy RB network. Uh, some people say it, it turns on the energy RB on the interface, so we need this one as well. IB energies. 
absolutely we need this one because it sends the registration to the hub because this is the next hub of the, of the tunnel interface okay of the of the hub because the hub is always using the 10.0.0.1 and to prove that it's there 10.0.0.1 okay 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 and here and uh, we, we we said uh, when we talked about ibtcb adjust we talked about uh ibmtu 1400 we said like we have to lower the t and the mtu to prevent fragmentation and the area zero we are using area zero osb osbf uh, ib osbf priority zero because we don't want uh the, the spokes to become dr or or BDR or back of designated router because we want them to be the other so the hub only replicates the information and they will only have adjacency with the hub as well so this the router ID is very good and it's book 3 is the same configuration and it's book uh, it's book, it's book 3 and it's book 5 and it's book, uh, 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 it's book 6 they're all the same so let us configure right now okay so the hub right here so let me let me co okay, uh, copy and paste this configuration the hub okay. let me switch to the hub show okay can we say like can we pink uh, the topology is here anyway the topology we are using is here yeah and uh uh, router one is using uh, is using a one seven two sixteen. Uh, let me just write it down quickly here. One seven two sixteen one dot one. Okay, one dot zero is slash twenty four, and um, and uh, let me just write it real quick here. Ten dot three dot three dot three dot zero this guy uh, r3 and and here the uh, router 2 is using 20 okay and okay just real quick okay and router 6 is using 160 dot 6 That six, that six is that zero, and R five is using one fifty dot five dot five dot zero. That, that that is the configuration. Um, let me check R five. Is it like that? To show IB interface. Brief. Yeah, no, one fifty nine is using. Sorry, it's using one one fifty nine. Okay. 59 that's what they are using okay so let us uh, copy and so if we ping like 10.3 like uh, is book 3 then we are you we are because because there is a reachability the underlay because we are all we are using static static uh, to the DMPPN and we are simulating the real internet okay so the reachability is there already, so I don't have to waste the time there. So now, the time the hub, I mean, should go. Okay, now. Okay. So this is the hub. Right, so let me copy this book uh, two. go to hub go to spoke 2 sorry and then let me go to spoke 3 and spoke 3 right here and then let me go to spoke 5 
going to Innsbruck, so it's the last is book, okay? Okay, so now let me make it bigger. So now look, the adjacency is there, the neighbors are there. So if we go uh, router, show IP, okay. You know what I will do? I will debug, okay? Okay, let me check first. Uh, show IP OSPF neighbors. OSPF neighbors. You see? These are all DR other because we don't want them to become DR or BDR. Only have, for example, if you go to this book too and you say like do IB OSPF neighbors, then we will see like the DR. You see the DR. Only R1 is the DR. Okay? R1 is the DR. And the same thing with this guy. OSPF neighbors. R1 is the DR. You see, and the priority because we make the priority high, and uh, we made the spooks uh, not to not to participate any election. With BF neighbors. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what it is. Do show IB OSBF OSBF neighbors. You see, we use. Uh, I mean, they are all because that they have only one neighbor. So, in the other way, they only have everyone has a connection with this one with a neighbor with this one so there's no uh i mean like th there is no backup designated router or something like that okay so now if you say like debug energy b uh because we have to debug to see the registration i was talking about packet and then what i will do it's so like interface tunnel zero shut down so i will shut down so we will see uh, we will see when they get up when the, when they start talking then we see like i will turn all the tunnels tunnel is shut down i will turn, i will shut all the tunnels uh shut down i will shut all the tunnels down and then we see I mean, how they send the registration request into the into the and uh, um, I mean to the to the hub, the way they register. Okay, now I turn all of them out. Now let me turn it back on, and then we have we'll have this, this space there, there, no shut, and we see already R one R uh, R two. It's already sending the registration, okay? So you say like, let, me, let us check. You know, you say look, NHRB re receive registration request via tunnel zero. Look, the bucket size is one eight and all those stuff. So that means like, it just registration is there, okay? And the IP address, we will see in here, if you just go a little bit down, the IP address of the NHRB, uh, I mean the, the, the host who asked, We'll see in here. You see, the source of protocol is one uh, one ten zero zero two. That's a tunnel of um, this is the tunnel of the the tunnel of the uh, of the R two uh, of this book two, and the MBMA. This is the mapping, and the and the source MBMA is twenty dot two twenty dot two, and as we said here is twenty dot two. So this guy and this guy they are neighbor now. And they already regis registered dynamically. Okay. Um, okay, so th that's enough. I mean, if we do this, will not shut down as well. R3. If we shut down R3, and then you see another request coming from R3. You see, it's like uh, the MBMA is 10.0.0.10.3.3.3. That's the real IP address of the or here, which is this one, and but oh, where is the go? Where is the hub? But and the tunnel address is the source is here, so the registration goes that way. 
okay now what are we going to do let me turn all let me no shut i mean the similar task you will follow uh, everywhere okay now if we go show ib route now you see the hub everyone comes like it, ha it has all the specific routes like like two comes from two three comes from uh, i'm gonna tunnel three like ten zero zero three uh, uh like for example five comes from tunnel five so it has all the specific but in here if you say show ip route and they are all pointing uh like everyone is is the same because three comes from three two comes from two i mean this one is two anyways so like six comes from six 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 comes from six so if we say like uh trace route three dot three dot three dot three dot three uh and the source is loop back zero it will go on the first it will go uh it will go a half you see the half so now if i go do it again then it will go straight to so if we say like show ipcf that means like the first uh initial packet the first initial packet from router 6 will go to the hub and then come back and then go to 3 but the second the second packet will go straight to 3 okay iv the self 3.3.3.3 and the self it says like it, it just goes to a next hub as a tunnel uh, the, the tunnel interface and the tunnel interface is uh it's just number three and the tunnel is so that means like the self is the forwarding table so always forwarding table is feed i mean the uh the routing table feed is the feed is the data data forwarding table so they've got the identical information so now that is what they call phase two that's what they call phase two dynamic so if we go back now and say like and configure I mean, we don't need to even um, uh, uh, disable OSBF because in uh, EIGR, we're going to use EIGRB and EIGRB has a metric, you know, has a, has a, has a, uh, I mean, lower uh, administra administrative distance. So it will, it will take over. So let's say like, do we show IP interface with? So it's a network, and these are a 10, 10, then 0, the 0, the 0, the 0. I mean, the wildcard is just optional, okay? The wildcard for EHRB is just optional, okay? I'm just making it short. So I didn't change anything if, uh, in, the, in the, in the, uh, in the configuration of the DMVPM, but we will change. We will change the split horizon. We will come back for that. Let me just uh, turn on, and uh, let me just uh, turn on, and then go router router EIGRB one no auto summary network and do show IP interface to see what's going on okay now work and then select like two 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 Now you see that just came up because the reason why is just because uh, no more OS. We didn't disable OSBF, but uh, EIGRB has a 90 of administrative distances, so it overrides the OSBF. This 
one I will see this one oh let me just see because this is a loopback so I just want to advertise the way it is Since he came up with this one as well, so router uh, EI will be one, no auto, and uh, show IP is for network. But wildcard is optional, anyways, as I said before. last one so okay if we go back here and say show IB route EIGRB we do not see anything because we only have a, we only show IB EIG, uh, okay IB EIGRB neighbors we only see the hub we have an adjacency with up with with the hub no problem with the hub tunnel but if you say like show IB route EIGRB I don't have any routes of the all the specific like router 5, router 3, router 2. The reason why, because of the split horizon. The split horizon is there in the hub, and it just says like, it just says like, any updates, let me turn this guy. It says any updates I get from this interface, because it gets all the updates of this spoke is through this only interface, the, uh, you know, the split horizon says like you cannot send an update again to this spokes because it might be a loop so it's kind of like loop prevention mechanism but now it is allowed to use it and it will not bring any problem so you got it so it says like okay the split horizon again what it does if I just emphasize uh, it says any update is from the spokes I get for in, in this interface I cannot advertise back but now we have to disable the split horizon here so we can use um, we can use um, we can use the I mean the I mean we can send it back we can send it back okay so let me go we go to the hub and say like who uh, and say like uh, no I be split uh, I be oh yeah I have to go under the tunnel okay tunnel zero no I be split horizon EIGRB and the autonomous system is number one and now look the adjacent go went down the adjacent is changing because it's resynced during the uh, split horizon change and now if I go to my to my um, look the tunnel is resync and it restarted anyway the adjacency restarted so before I didn't have anything when I said like show IB route EIGRB before I didn't have anything but now I have to have uh, I, I have to have everything and now you see I have to have all the updates alright so now this hub is just replicating the multicast update all to this all the other ones you got it okay so now we've got it okay and if i say like now look it says like all 
you know we have the next hub the next hub look it says like one um it spoke six yeah we are in his book six so if you say like five it comes it, it always we have a fire ten zero zero one i mean everything is swept pointing to the hub now okay so what we'll do the hub we go back to hub you see that two is just pointing to hub so that means that the next hub is reserved by uh by the hub the next home information is reserved by the hub and that's why it has the hub i mean like everything is going through the hub now so what we'll do we go to the hub we say uh no ib next hub no ib next hub self eigrb one what it does now it resync it again what it does it will just uh it will not keep the reachability information in that one so let me go to r to r6 now say like show ip how the hrb you see before it was pointing one but now look it, it's pointing like each one each one is okay each one is. you see here now let me show you here it was pointing just the one 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 you know tunnel zero zero one that was the hub because r3 is supposed to go r hub I mean like R and R1 or like the hub and uh, and two uh, for example 333 it was uh, pointing as a negative of R1 uh, or, or the hub but now but now when we say like uh, IBE IGRB no IBE no when we say when we command this issue no IB is below the horizon no where is the command yeah no IB negas hub self EIJRB one what the spoke said now five has directly connected to five you know it came from five so it changed the negas hub self so that means like hub is not a negas hub self anymore if that makes sense the hub is not the negas hub self anymore because before the hub was the negas hub self I mean the negas hub uh comma the negas hub uh uh, router or the next hub we should use it but now we don't have we, we, we are just going directly to those guys so let us let us let us trace trace route and I still I believe it will go still the first packet to our to to the hub and then we go to uh, to I mean directly they will they will they will have a forwarding table okay let me say like um, Three dot three dot three dot three R three yeah, and then source the loop back zero. Yeah, you see, it's going to R one, but but if we go again, then we go straight away to to to, to three. Okay, now if we make it phase three, what's going to happen? We will just use it IB NHRB will direct. That's the command for the hub and for this book is IB NHRB IB interface tunnel under tunnel yeah IB NHRB uh, shortcut that is for every interface of this book and the hub is IB NHRB redirect okay so interface tunnel zero tunnel zero IBNHRB shortcut interface tunnel zero IBNHRB shortcut and the last hub which is R6 interface tunnel zero IBNHRB shortcut so now what we will do shut because we want to um, we want to um, to re-register to re-register to, re to the hub so the hub will so the so the NHRB will will start redirecting the traffic so now let me start the hub and no shot and the spokes no shot and the other spoke no shot another spoke no shot and no shot so let us see the hub what's going on with the hub the adjacent decay back so shall I be route EIGRB. So now everything is pointing here. So let me go to hub two. 
show IB route EIGRB. Now everyone is pointing where it's supposed to point. So, so now, so let me twice. Uh, 3.3.3.3.3. Sourcing my loop. It's still going R1, but the next one there. Okay. Uh, the, I mean, the second time you just not go in there. I mean, just time you just directly there. Okay, basically, show IB route EIGRB. Now, in EIGRB, because the no, uh, uh, okay, we done it here in hub. Okay, sorry about that. Because we have to modify in the hub. Uh, in the tunnel interface and say like no IB uh, no say, say like IB negus hop self command negus hop self EIGRB one we have to put that command back and shut and no shut and these guys shut oh sorry interface tunnel zero shut Shot. and this one shot no shot shot the reason shot I'm, shot I'm just restarting the process okay restarting the the energy RB resolution so now if we go to six for example show IB route uh, show IB route now we've got uh, everyone just go in the social IB so this is just trace okay so now oh okay so no adjacent okay oh let me go then interface tunnel zero shut Oh yeah, the adjacent is there now. Okay, now. Okay, see there are three off. Okay, let me. Okay, yeah. Now it, it just gone the first. I mean, always is going to the hub, but the next time it's not going to the hub. But if I say like show IB uh, self, then say like three dot three dot three dot three. It says like the always. Uh, so EIGRB because we removed the next hub self. That's what that's how it works. Anyway, phase three is the better plan. That's what they say. And um, that's what they said. Phase three is then. Okay. And and OSPF. If we go back to OSPF. We just go here and say no router EIGRB1. No router EIGRB1. Then no router EIGRB1. No router. IGRB one no router IGRB one no router IGRB one okay now now all the IGRB gone but the hub do show IP OSPF neighbors. Now it has the neighbors, OSPF neighbors back. Do show IP NHRB. Okay, now in OSPF, we've got the registration, alright? So 
what's going to happen now in, in R2, in R6? So show IP route. Okay, in, in the hub, we will go and uh, do show run interface time zero. And we will change one thing interface tunnel zero and we will change one thing and the and the thing is broadcast will make it uh point to multi point that's what we will change point to multi point okay okay we have to use all the, we have to use this command Point to multi point interface tunnel point to multi point interface tunnel zero point to multi point interface tunnel zero point to multi point. Okay, now what happened is. Adjacency came back up. So if we say try it out, now we're still going to the hub, okay? But second one is not is going straight as we said in EIJRB. Okay, if we say show IP route in a three three three, okay. Let me say that show IP route three dot three router three. We see the next hub is one, so the next hub is one. But if we say a show IB is like uh, the hub because the hub is 10.0001. If we say show IB is F, and then it's 3.3.3.3.3, it's still the same. But if we say like show IB in NHRP, it tells us another thing, it says. The next hub of three 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 is one zero 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 three. So that means this the next hub resolution is the one we use. So I hope I help it for you. But phase three is the main thing. And the summarization we can do summarization now. But, but anyway, OSBF is not recommended. EIJRB is recommended. Summarization allowed. Everything is allowed. And I hope it has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for your for you in.